friends, it's time for another fun art project, Art with Mrs. Stalker. Today I'm going to read you, start reading you a story called Things I Like. This book is by Anthony Brown. Things I Like. This is me, and this is what I like. Painting and riding my bike. Playing with toys and dressing up. Climbing trees and kicking a ball. Hiding and acrobatics. Building sand castles and wading in the sea. Making a cake and watching TV. going to birthday parties, and being with my friends. Having a bath, hearing a bedtime story, and dreaming. I think he's dreaming about being a superhero. So these are things that he likes to do. In this story, I want you guys to think of some things that you like to do. What are the things that you like to do? This might have given you some ideas from this book. So be thinking about that for a minute. Things that you like. It can be things you like to do, things you like to eat, sports you like to play, places you like to go. Just things that are all about you. So take a minute to think about that. Then when you have those ideas, one of the best things that you can do is start drawing some of your ideas down. So if I'm thinking one of my favorite foods is pizza, maybe I'm going to draw a piece of pizza. You're drawing your ideas first. We're just going to, when you draw your ideas, it's called a thumbnail, a thumbnail sketch. So I'm just getting some ideas. Okay, maybe I'll do pizza. Maybe I like to play basketball, so I can draw a basketball on here. Maybe I like to paint pictures. So I'm going to draw like a paintbrush. So just like think about some things that you might like to do. Then also you need to think about what your name is and what letter your name starts with. So we're going to combine these two things. The things you like and the first letter of your name. And when you use just the first letter it's called an initial. What's it called? An initial. So the first letter of my name, my name is M Melanie. What do you think the first letter of my name is? It's an M, you're right, Melanie. So I have these letters for you if you want to use them. And I'm going to decorate this letter, the M for Melanie, with the things that I like. I'm going to draw things that I like on it and maybe I'll do colors that I like, designs and shapes that I like. So this M for Melanie is going to be all about me, all about Melanie. If you don't want to use this letter that I already have printed for you, you can make your own letters. So if I wanted to make an M and make a, this is called a block letter because it's kind of blocky and square. So, okay, if you want to make your own letter and not use one that's already printed, it's kind of fun to do your own. So, if, like for an M, all I would do is make the letter M first, kind of right in the middle of my page. Then I'm just going to make some little, little feet on my M. And I'm just going to go up here and make the same shape, but it's kind of just like a bigger M. So that's a way you can make like a block letter M. Let's say that your name started with a B. So a B might be a little bit hard, so you just still make a B in the middle of your page. And then you start a little bit, come down like an inch or so. And then you're just going to kind of make the same letter again. You just go around it like that. So it's pretty easy actually to make block letters. And they don't have to be perfect, but if you want to make your own letter, you can do that. Then I'm going to take, I'll just use this one, and then I'm going to start drawing some things that I like on here. So I'm going to draw my pizza, because remember we have some ideas already. 
pepperoni pizza and a basketball. Maybe I'll make only half of the basketball showing because that makes it kind of more interesting. That could even be like a soccer ball. One thing I really like is sunflowers, so I'm going to make a sunflower on mine. So, yeah, it's just what you, you keep doing whatever you want on here that things about you. And I'm going to make a stem going down here because I want to make it kind of funny. Okay, so I've been working on my M and things about me, things that I like. So I have, down here I have music notes because I like to listen to music. Pizza, I like butterflies. I like playing basketball or soccer. I like sunsets, so I drew the sun. I like chocolate, so this is like a chocolate kiss. Sunflowers, ice cream, mountains. I like to do art, so I drew a paintbrush. I like all the colors in the rainbow, so I drew a rainbow because I love colors. I drew strawberries because I like strawberries. And this is my dog Zoe. And then this is popcorn and movies. I like going to movies and eating popcorn. So once I get done drawing all my things, then I'm going to color them. You could just draw them with crayons in the first place if you want to. Or you can draw them with pencil first, then color them. However you like to do it. So anyway, I did that. And then here's an example of... This is one I made a couple years ago, all about me. So I did this pretty, just these pretty colors. Cause like one of my favorite colors is this color right here. It's kind of a turquoise. So I did a sunflower and like a really cool sun with lots of colors around it and a waterfall because I really like to be out in nature. And I didn't think I liked to hike, but I actually do. Cause I do like hiking and going to see the mountains. And I like to paint and do art and this is just a, bucket of paint with all the colors spilling out. So that's one I made all about me. This is Stoffer. Then another way you can do it that I drew myself is I just drew some things that I like in the shape of an M. So I drew, this is just represents all the things in nature, like trees, feathers, berries, sunflowers. And then when I made this, I kind of made it like the shape of an M, but I thought, well, maybe people won't know that this is an M. So I made the same one and I outlined it so you can tell that it's an M. So those are just some ideas of how you can make your initial all about you. And when you do it, you can use, you can color it with anything you want. You can use markers, crayons, which this, this was all done with colored pencil. This was completely done with crayons. So you can get beautiful colors with anything you want to use. I just want to tell you if you ever can get your own colored pencils if your mom and dad want to get them. This is my very favorite colored pencils. They're called Frimza Color and they're just really bright and beautiful colors. That's what I made this out of. So have fun doing your initial. Think about what you love, what's all about you, because you are special. You're your unique, unique. You're great. You're awesome. I love you guys. See you next time.